Order! 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 You are an incorrigible delinquent at times. <laughs> Behave yourself, man! A fiasco. That's how the inquiry into child sex abuse in England and Wales has been described after its most senior lawyer was suspended last night. It's the biggest public inquiry in British history, as you know, set up a couple of years ago by Theresa May in her role as Home Secretary, and it's already cost more than £20 million. And the latest twist in this sees a senior QC, a man called Ben Emerson, being temporarily removed from his post. It's raised questions about the whole future of this inquiry. The spokesman for Alexis J, the inquiry's fourth chairwoman, says the suspension comes after concerns about aspects of Mr Emerson's leadership of the council team. A former director of public prosecutions, Lord Macdonald, says the inquiry is now careering out of control. It's the latest in a line of con controversies, a long line of controversies involving the inquiry in the last couple of years. Baroness Butler Sloss was appointed as chairwoman of the inquiry the day after it was announced, but stood down just a week later. Dame Fiona Wolf succeeded her, but resigned after a couple of months. They'd both been criticised for being too close to the establishment. Then Justice Lowell Goddard took over the role in February 2015, but resigned last month. In her statement, the New Zealand judge said the legacy of failure had been very hard to shake off. Prof Professor Alexis Jay, who reported on child sexual exploitation in Rotherham, is the current chair. It was hoped her appointment would bring some stability to the process. But now Ben Emerson, who served as counsel to the panel since October 2014, has been suspended from his role. Yesterday, the inquiry said they would investigate concerns over the leadership of his team. Mr Emerson has said he was unable to comment at this time. So let's talk to various people about the future of this inquiry, including Peter Saunders. Yeah, I'm trying to. Peter Saunders, who is member of the Victims and Survivors Consultative Panel and founder of the National Association for People Abused in Childhood. We also have Michael Pether, who is a partner at the BLM Law, who specialises in child sexual abuse claims. And in Edinburgh, we're joined by Ian McFadgen, who is a campaigner and survivor of abuse. He's applying to be a core participant in this inquiry. Uh, welcome all of you. Let's start with you, Peter, if I may. Uh, what do you think of this latest development? Good morning, Victoria. Morning. <laughs> the, 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 the inquiry is, uh, as your introduction says, it's the, the biggest inquiry in, in British history. And I would argue it's probably, in a sense, the most toxic of issues to be examined. You know, we're talking about the abuse on an industrial scale of children over generations and huge credit to Theresa May for setting up the inquiry and for Amber Rudd. So it's so important then, does it, to, does it actually matter if a QC has been suspended in the meantime? I, I, I don't uh, agree with Lord Macdonald that it is in any sense descending into fiasco. I think that, as I say, the toxicity of the content maybe is something that's contributing to the difficulties that nobody's going to deny. Mm. But I see a group of people, a large group of people, who are very committed and working very, very hard to make this all work. And I, I'm not here to speak on behalf of the inquiry. I'm not even here to speak as a member of the VSCP. I'm here What's speaking the, VSCP, sorry? the Victims and Survivors Consultative Panel, right. who, who again were boldly appointed to, to advise the, the work and have been doing a sterling job. I'm, okay. I'm here as the founder of NAPAC and a survivor who wants the truth to be told okay. and this is our best bet yet. So these, th there have been hiccups and there will be hiccups in the future. It's the nature of the inquiry, I'm afraid. And I'm, I'm, I'm saddened that so many people continually have a pop at it before it's even really had a chance to get off the ground. Okay, the nature of these things, it's just a hiccup, Michael Pether, do you agree? I, 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 I do endorse Peter's, Peter's view. It's uh, unfortunately the history of the inquiry has been um, marred by negative press and negative developments but essentially there's an enormous um, group of very well qualified people mm. who are supporting the inquiry. Ben Emerson is important to it but he's only one of a team of lawyers who are there to, to, to progress the inquiry. I have some quite close involvement in the inquiry for, um, uh, th through my own legal firm um, and the experience I have is that they're working very 
efficiently. Right. Um, what they do need to do um, is get some positive developments out there, get some progress, get some clarity of direction. And, well, they've, um, got, they've got the terms of reference, haven't they? The difficulty with the terms of reference is that they are so wide. Well, it's, but uh, that's, that's the nature which, of which these is, inquiries. Which, which is important, yeah. and without that, the, uh, it wouldn't be achieving... Yeah. What it, what it, it wouldn't be achieving what it's trying to do. Let me bring in Ian, Ian McFadgen, who's a campaigner, campaigner and abuse survivor. Uh, do you worry about this or is it a hiccup, as Peter says? Well, Victoria, you know, this, this, is, this is beyond a hiccup. Um, you know, w within the last month and a half, we've lost our chair. We've now had the lead council suspended. Um, at, at what stage are people going to understand this is this is not about hiccups and issues that we can resolve. This is about examining why this inquiry is failing us as survivors. You want us to engage in this inquiry, you know, as we have done since the beginning, then it needs to be fit for our purposes. Mm -hmm. You know, I have people who've been waiting a lifetime for this inquiry. Um, you know, this is a one off one off opportunity to get this right. And no, I'm not grateful to Theresa May or Amber Rudd. Neither of them want to give us this inquiry. They have been pushed into giving us this inquiry. Yeah? Uh, my question is, is where is the, this influence that is destroying the leaders of this inquiry? Is it within the inquiry? So, just, just so I'm clear, Ian McFadden, are you saying that th th this QC, Ben Emerson, is essential to it or it can carry on with, without him? I think, that, I think that the lead council who's been in place since 2014, who when we've had chairperson stepped down, has held the inquiry together and led it and driven it forward and is now suspended is a real issue for us. Yes, I do. OK, so what should happen? I, th I, th I think that basically the inquiry, if there are problems within it, they need to deal with, with it within um, and not wash their dirty laundry in public. For, for us to engage in this process and for this process to be a success, mm -hmm. you require survivors trust to step forward and give testimony. And, and at the moment, it's lacking that sort of trust as far as I'm concerned. Right. Um, I'd, go have on, to I'd have to disagree. I, I agree with Ian, as he knows, on many, many issues. Mm. Um, the inquiry is doing its very best to get its act together. It was never going to be an easy task. Peter, and at NAPAC the, every day, Peter, I, I, NAPAC, I, thought, I, I didn't interrupt you, you, Ian. At Sorry. NAPAC every day, we hear from survivors who are full of encouragement for this inquiry. And it's, it's, it's a myth that nothing is happening. Mm. People are coming forward to the Truth Project. And I hope that people who are watching this will come forward to the inquiry to, 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 to give their testimony. There will be interim reports. The panel and other members of the inquiry are already doing a great deal of work. As I say, I'm not speaking for the inquiry, but I witness what is going okay, on. Well, and it will never be good enough for some people, sure. unfortunately. It, but let's get on with it. Very briefly, Ian McFadgen, let's get on with it. Let them crack on with it. Briefly. <sighs> Whilst we have a chair and a lead council resigning, stepping away, being suspended, how, how, how can we allow this to go on? Where, where is this? What, what, what is happening with our inquiry? Why are the leaders of our, our inquiry either stepping away what? or being suspended? These are okay. questions that need to be answered. Thank you. I'm going to leave it there, but thank you very much for coming on the programme. Thank, thank you. you. Thank you. I've been